This video is brought to you by Keeps. Stick around to hear more about the discount they are providing to the entire Upper Echelon community. Okay, today, once again, we add to the story of Musk versus Twitter because it's a gift that keeps on giving and we're starting to reach the end game. Short recap, even though a topic like this has dominated the news cycle for a very long time and probably doesn't even need one, Elon Musk proposed mm -hmm. a buyout of Twitter. He started by acquiring about 9% of the company over the span of a few weeks, morphed that into an attempted takeover, shifted again to an actual offer, and now is backing away from the deal entirely after claiming that Twitter is withholding key information from him that is required to make the purchase. A few things here. First, I would probably assume that's true. I would assume that Twitter does not want to make it public how many bots are on their website. I, I do think, like, I'm going to be honest, like, I might sound like a conspiracy Andy here. I 100% think Twitter does things that are bad under the table that people don't know. I, I think that they intentionally manipulate different trends uh, for, for different reasons. Yeah, I don't trust Twitter at all. His offer was $54.20. The number matters because he $54. wanted to say four twenty. It's a weed joke. He's rich enough and strange enough to use hundreds of millions of dollars just to make a very expensive joke. And second, he then began to send a storm of tweets that were very critical of Twitter itself. But mm -hmm. one of those tweets in particular was aimed at bots. Quote, if our Twitter bid succeeds, we will defeat the spam bots or die trying. That's End good. Quote. That's odd. It's not odd by And authenticate all real humans. I, I, I think that a lot of people don't want authentication. Uh, this is actually something that I might not agree with. I'll have to think about it. Uh, is that one of the good things about the internet is the fact that it's like if you want to it it's like the old uh, the old quote right if you want to give them if you want somebody to tell you a truth give them a mask and uh, that's whenever they'll tell you what they really think and, and I think social media gives people the ability to do that I don't want to be authenticated yeah a lot of people don't want to be authenticated there are a lot of people also that do however elf but in context it makes absolutely zero sense I'm not going to harp on this too much, though I am quite happy to be mm -hmm. correct, but all of this was rather expected. My theory, I'm not alone in this, by the way, but I don't see all that many people really delving into it, is that Elon Musk used a Twitter bid to suppress a variety of news stories that were very critical of him. I have a bunch of other videos on this. I guess I can link them down below in the description. He dominated specific search engine keywords by doing this, and also, more importantly, created the pretext necessary to offload something like $8.5 billion worth of Tesla stock right at the top of the market before a substantial decline. Holy shit! The deal shit. itself from day one was kind of shaky. His attempts at financing seemed very risky. His attitude towards the company seemed almost malevolent. And one more thing that we It seemed like a meme. Like, for the longest time, like, I didn't think this was gonna happen. No, is that when his initial proposal was filed, he waived his rights of due diligence. This is something I probably should have done a better job discussing in prior coverage because okay. it is actually critical to the entire process. Due diligence is basically when a company, entity, or person conducts research into whatever it is they are buying. Right. For Musk, that would be research into the fundamentals and business prospects of Twitter. But when he filed the initial proposal with the SEC, he very specifically waived that right because the proposal in and of itself was an acknowledgement that he was done with due diligence. He basically agreed to buy Twitter. And the phase where he can ask about numbers and business operations, and etc. to inform the purchase was basically over. This matters because it undermines pretty much everything he has tried to say since then. And yet, here we are. My so if, yeah, like if he signed that away, how's he able to back out of it because of the bot numbers and not knowing them? Like the thing is, Elon Musk is obviously a really, really smart guy. Like whether you think that he deserves to have as many billion dollars as, as you think or, or not, he's obviously really, really smart. Yeah, Rich is smart. Guys, only on the internet do you have people that are typing in an anonymous chat room thinking that they're smarter than the richest person in the world. Like, it, it just... Think about how outrageous this is. Theory was that he would claim material breach of conditions after he began to fixate on Twitter's bot account numbers. Word for word, that's precisely what happened. Yeah. But if we remember the context here, that's very strange. First thing, he was openly stating that he had knowledge of a bot problem on Twitter, maybe spam is a better word, and intended to solve that problem yeah. if the bid was successful. That was one of his goals. It's a good thing. Well, second, he had waived his rights to due diligence already, or kind of finalized the idea of purchasing it and gone through that process and completed it, meaning he really wasn't able to demand information from them. He was to some degree, but not in that way. 
owing to the fact that he had already committed with a billion dollar termination penalty. Regardless, Twitter gave him full access. They complied with this in a way that was effectively an insult, right? They gave him access to the fire hose, which is all of the tweets that come through. It, um, it's like a stream of data, a massive stream of data. Holy that shit. Would be very difficult to analyze, but they did give him access. And then okay. on the exact date that the option became available to him, Elon Musk sent a letter to terminate the deal. That's where we are right now, but there's a bit more to discuss as well. Pause. Before going any further, it's time for me to pay the channel bills and offer a partner discount in the process. 95% of you watching this Jesus right now are Christ. men 18 to 45. Oh. Anyone else outside that range, you are also amazing. Don't forget that, but that's the primary demographic. Oh my God. The main group when it comes to hair loss is men ages 18 can't that be to me? 35. And thus, Keeps is one of the most effective sponsors to have. Keeps Great. can help prevent hair loss with generic versions of the only two products on the entire market that are FDA approved. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. You can order and get treated directly from your- Why is it that every video that I watch nowadays has a Keeps ad? Yeah, this is a personal attack. Home, and some men even experience hair growth while using Keeps, not just retention. For a limited time, using the link down below in the description, you can get 50% off your first order. Again, that's 50% off your first order if you click the link down below in the description. I get paid to say this, but Keeps has also <laughs> long supported the channel. So if you're in the market for hair loss prevention treatment of any kind, definitely check them out. Big thank you to Keeps for sponsoring the channel. So what else can we look at? Obviously, Twitter is taking Elon Musk to court. That much is a guarantee. I'm excited it to see this. It was guaranteed us. when Twitter decided. Bro, to like, I hope, please, Elon, if you watch this video, like, there's a chance you watch this video, please fucking publicize that. Right? Like, I need some content. Like, please make it to where it gets recorded. Please, I need to see it. Like, please make it to where that happens. Yeah, we, we want another trial stream, boys. Come on. Why it was attractive and they wanted it to actually happen. However, the results of that, to make a couple more predictions here, could be somewhat interesting. I'm not a legal expert, but all signs point to a battle where it's quite obvious that Elon Musk is trying to get out of a deal that he technically shouldn't be able to get out of. I mean, he is responding to memes about the SEC being completely blind while investigating all this with open public agreement. He's basically just thumbing his nose at the entire establishment and saying, I can do whatever I want. Twitter seems to have a pretty strong case here. Elon Musk waited until the exact date where he could try to terminate yep. the deal and then did exactly that, which shows a significant amount of planning, in my opinion. And the battle may not be over a $1 billion breakup fee. It may be substantially more because the- Bro, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen with this. Like, do you think that whenever everything is said and done, Elon Musk is going to own Twitter or not? I, I don't know. I, I, I really, really don't know. No, you guys think not. No shot. I thought that about Trump being president. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, there's no way. No way this is going to happen. Then it fucking happens. These two parties need to agree on a certain amount of money in order to part ways and not go to court, which mm -hmm. I think is the most likely outcome. But anyway, to be more specific, Elon Musk technically can't, can, he cannot just pay the $1 billion and walk away. He can be sued, Twitter has that right, for specific performance, that's what it's called. And as long as the debt financing is there, Twitter can push to execute the, the merger agreement. Also, if Elon Musk were to tank his own position to a point where he can't actually close the deal, my understanding is that it wouldn't actually serve as a valid excuse. Twitter's chairman already announced that they will, of course, take Elon Musk to court and that they intend to enforce the merger. The Twitter board is committing to closing the transaction on the price and terms agreed upon with Mr. Musk and plans to pursue legal action and enforce the merger agreement. We are confident that we will prevail in the Delaware Court of Chancery. Oh my God. Agreement. This is public from him. But the drama is almost infinite because no matter where you stand, for or against the deal, there's always something to latch onto. Fans of Elon Musk are now arguing that he has tricked Twitter into an impossible legal situation. Memes like this are just adding fuel See, to the I fire. See, I saw this shit. Like, I don't know. Like, I actually don't know what's happening. Like, I, I've, never bought a, I've never bought a company before. Right? So, I, I, not at least a big one like this. Like, uh-uh. So, like, I'm not sure. And the narrative has emerged that all of this was deliberate. Some people are claiming that Elon Musk has executed some sort of Kaiser Soze legal backstab because the information that Twitter was suppressing, though it doesn't appear that they were really holding back anything at this stage from him, will now come out during search and discovery for a legal case. 
if this were somehow true, I'm not saying it's impossible, but if it were true, if Twitter was and is misrepresenting their monthly active users, their So MD he thinks that Twitter gave him fake information. So he wants Twitter to take him to court because they'll be forced to reveal the fake information that they showed him. If that actually happens, oh my God. They use to a significant degree. Oh my God. Twitter has been claiming that there are only 5% spam accounts as far back as their IPO. And if Elon Musk really did blow all of that up, well, that's one for the history books. However, that's not what I would place my bet on. My prediction is this. Elon Musk and Twitter will reach a settlement behind closed doors. Elon Musk will walk away having gotten everything he really wanted out of the deal already, such as liquidating a huge chunk of his Tesla stock, which very clearly does not trade on fundamentals, and is highly subjected to Elon Musk himself as a charismatic leader. Thus, he needs oh, I remember that happened. Remember whenever he smoked weed on Joe Rogan and his stock went down? Can you believe that? I was like, what the fuck? Damn good reason to start selling billions of dollars worth of his ownership, but he will not have achieved a total win. Twitter will have taken mm -hmm. a pretty big chunk out of him. Not only that, but there will be multiple investor lawsuits on top of it. Yeah. Actually, there already are quite a few, but there will be many more. Oh, I think he's After in that, it. After that, Twitter itself as a company will be seen as weak. The share price is already declining. The premium that Musk offered is rapidly dissolving. And barring certain major platforms like Facebook because of antitrust law and a few other reasons, mm -hmm. someone somewhere will swoop in and buy out what remains. Like Walmart. Twitter will be absorbed into a larger company eventually, and Elon Musk will walk Apple. away having effectively trolled a multi-billion dollar social media company into the dirt. I could be wrong, but so far my gut instinct seems fairly on point with this. To be clear, there are multi- I, honestly, that would be so fucking funny if that happened. Oh my God. Multitude of potential outcomes. If Twitter and Elon Musk fight to the death in court with search and discovery the whole way, maybe he gets quite literally forced to pay $44 billion for the company. It's a lot of money. Twitter goes up in flames completely because they've been lying to everyone since day one. If they work out some kind of deal out of court, maybe they sign a revised merger agreement and the price goes down and Elon gets a better deal, which again, people keep saying he's playing 4D chess and this is what he's doing, but nothing about this deal so far has been rational, so it's hard to expect rational things to happen in the end game. That's it the thing, is like, I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen with this. Like, I honestly, like, yeah, like, it's, like, this is, it, it's like, it was easier pr to, to predict the ending of Game of Thrones than to predict the ending of this. Like, I have, I have no, I, I have no idea. People love to attribute so much credit to him. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that it, I, 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 don't, I don't know what the plan is here. I'm going to be real. People trying to second guess the richest man in the world trying to get on the gravy train. I don't know. That's the thing. It's just crazy. I have no idea. Imagine if Twitter bots make up like 40% of accounts. Oh, man. Like, Twitter's in a bad spot right now. It's a lose-lose for them. People vastly overestimate Elon's intelligence. I don't know. I mean, the guy's, I, I mean, I think the guy's pretty smart. He's the fucking richest guy in the world. Uh, he's multiple successful companies. I, I think the people that say, like, as I said, it is peak internet fucking user behavior to think that you, you in the chat room are smarter than the richest man in the world. Like, come on. Now, you could, there's a chance that this could not end well for him. There is a very good chance. I just want to see what happens. It's highly unlikely to me that Elon Musk walks away scot-free from all this. Mm -hmm. The claim about bots, aside from being contradictory to his prior statements, yeah. would have to be classified as having a material adverse effect. That's the technical terminology. And that's not an easy bar to clear. If Twitter is even remotely close in their spam user calculations, maybe having a shit te testing methodology or something like that, but getting the ballpark of a real number, then you probably can't prove a material adverse effect. The numbers they have given for years would need to be catastrophically wrong to the point of deliberate lies. And Twitter may be a lot of things, horrible, horrible things, but I don't expect that they would misrepresent that kind of statistic for all these years in such a damaging way, especially given the public nature of the company. Right? I Just think that they would. I think that it's in their best interest to represent there being a lot of bots on Twitter. The reason why I think it's in their best interest is because that's what gets them... Like, social media platforms thrive on the idea that everybody is using them. So if the numbers are going down, the numbers continue to go down. And if the numbers are going up, the numbers continue to go up. So 
I, I don't know. And you're right. Maybe. And the thing is, lying to shareholders, I don't know. There are a lot of ways like you, you like we've watched a lot of the shareholders meetings for like Activision Blizzard and, and you see the ways that they obfuscate things by explaining them in monthly active users rather than in subscribers or something like that. I, I, I don't know. Easy to lie about numbers that you can't check. Yeah. The way the market works and the way financial disclosures work. It's possible. But the more I sit here and think, the less likely it seems. I'm actually reminded like pretty strongly of this time where I bought a piece of furniture. This is going to be a really strange story, but bear with me. I bought a piece of furniture from a closing JCPenney store. It was one of their display tables, right? It was a nice coffee table and I okay. wanted it for my apartment. Okay. And the, the store was going to be shut down in like a week. So they were selling literally everything off the floor. But okay. I had to go through this process of signing a bunch of papers and acknowledgements about what I was buying. I don't remember precisely oh, why. Oh, bro, like they made me do this whenever I bought a hamster because they said the hamster was sick. It died in six days. Yeah, I did this at Petco. Yeah, my mom. Yeah. So so basically, uh, fucking we went, we bought a fucking hamster and we take it home and like the hamster died. And so my dad, it was like we bought it on like Monday and like it, it died on Saturday. And, or like maybe on Sunday, down next Saturday, my dad wakes me up because like he came over, like we we're going to go to lunch and he wakes me up. He's like, Zach, I'm like, yep. He's like, you ready to go to Wendy's? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, by the way, hamster died. And I'm like, fuck. I go out into the living room and I look at the garbage can. And the, you know how, like, whenever you have a garbage can and it's like full, you have like things like mounted over it. My dad placed my dead hamster on top of it, like a fucking crown or like a candle on a birthday cake. And I see the hamster. I'm like, dad, we can't just have him in the garbage can. I mean, this is something wrong. And he's like, well, we're not going to bury him. I'm like, yeah, but we should at least put him outside. And my dad's like, okay, yeah, sure. So he, he lifts his hand under the hamster it's like this he goes like this he opens the back door and with one hand he goes like this whoop fucking flips that dead hamster out into the yard he's like all right let's go to wendy's <laughs> he eats that bitch into the fucking garden man i will never fucking forget that shit <laughs> yeah he didn't give a fuck <laughs> He's like, and then he got made. He's like, he's like, you had this shit for less than a week. Like, who cares? Like, that's it. Like, you knew he was going to die. And it's Let's odd go to that it stuck yeah. out to me this much. But one of those papers had a lot of fine print about how once I sign it, I have to buy it. And I can't take it back or claim yeah. that it's damaged to get out of the purchase. Yeah, yeah. Being sold as is or try to get a different table, right? It had to be that specific one and so on and so forth. There was a mm -hmm. whole huge thing. It was long and it seemed enti entirely unnecessary for just a coffee table. That's what stuck out in my mind. And I'm sure a $44 billion merger agreement is way more intense. They probably have more paperwork Elon for Musk that one. claiming yeah. that there are more bots than he thought and thus the deal should be voided is like if I signed all of those papers and then walked physically towards the coffee table and then said, ha, just kidding, I see a scratch on it, uh, I'm not going to buy it. That really just wouldn't work. One of the final points I want to talk about is the idea I Twitter don't know about that. Like, and, and to be honest, like that seems true, but if the information was actually wrong and it was presented as wrong information, I don't know how that changes it. But again, like I, I think this is completely, I've got no fucking idea. You're firing certain executives. This is also a claim that he's making in the letter that mm -hmm. he sent them and having larger employee turnover after the deal was announced is somehow enough pretext to void the agreement entirely. Yeah. I've read through the proposal a number of times now, and there really just isn't anything in there to stop them. Normally, I think there's a specific section about limiting hiring slash firing as the deal unfolds. Like, that's pretty common. But I don't see any indication of that here. So not sure why or how it's going to be used as a justification to back out. Bottom line, Elon Musk is doing precisely what I thought he would and backing away from the deal, trying to get out of it, it seems. Whether or not it actually so a lot works, of people thought would happen. completely up in the air. But my gut says, no, it won't. At least not fully, but we'll see. And the end game of this battle will hopefully be very, very entertaining. Yes. That's it, though. If you want to support, there are links down below. Locals yes. and Patreon to support the channel. Another YouTuber to check out. Merchandise, social media. Keeps the sponsor guys. as well. And a few more things, but I'll cut it there and stop rambling. As always, thank you all for watching. 
and have a nice night. All right, this is good. He brought the giraffe back for this one. Like, I, dude. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to see what this is going to be, man. There's a video. Give him a like. Uh, for our gamers, we, uh, the guy, he's probably going to come on my stream sometime and uh, talk about some of the stuff that he found about, like, Cyberpunk and, and maybe some other stuff as well. People underestimate how dangerous bots are on social media. What if this is all part of Elon's plan to get at a discount for the purchase? I don't know. Like, the thing is that... I don't know what the fuck happens with this stuff. I have no idea. I'm really curious to see what it's going to be, man. Yeah, I, I, I am really, really curious to see what it's going to be. Uh, more than anything. Uh, am I going to look at WoW news? I already have. I've looked at a lot of WoW news. Um, your dick must be diamonds for Elon versus Twitter after Amber versus Amber Heard. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, I hope they fucking record that. That's going to be fucking great. Yeah, you'll be there to react. Oh, you fucking, you guarantee I'll be there to react. Uh, this potato take is so basically it's sad. Fucking it. Think Twitter's gonna let, uh, thinking Elon's gonna let Twitter, uh, uh, let clown Twitter activists own him as hopium at its finest. The best part about this is the fact that everybody on the other side thinks that they're gonna win. That's what I like the most about it. It's that everybody thinks that, like, their side, they either think that, like, Elon is, like, this fucking idiot. Like, he's, oh, he just got born into riches and he thinks he earned it. He's a loser. He's so stupid. And he's got, he doesn't take care of his kids. And so, like, everybody either thinks that he's, like, this horrible, terrible person or... They think that he's like just this fucking mastermind mega genius. And I understand that a lot of you guys might think to yourself, oh, well, that's not, you know, like, th that's not what it is. Like, it's not going to happen. I think that somewhere around like 2015, and yes, this is because of Donald Trump, we have created some sort of like divergence in the plot line we have created a a, a world where now it is a it, it, it's totally different than what it used to be it is it, it's totally different and it's it, i i don't know man like i think that we have entered into almost a parody of ourselves it is a, a universe that is uh unknown I will do one sword run, and then we will begin the transmog competition, okay, guys? Uh, that, that, that's what we're going to do. You see the video about the animal that went to Hydro Gun? No, I didn't. it's definitely a genius. Genius people uh, throughout history have not been accepted by society by masses. Yeah, but so dumb people. Like, I, I mean, I'm not going to get into... I do think Elon Musk is a pretty smart guy. I, I, I think so. Um, I think that, again, it is peak internet user behavior to think that they are you are smarter than the richest man in the world that owns like multiple massively successful companies and like you're typing this with like fucking cheetos on your belly that you're eating off of your stomach like i mean l let's go ahead and fucking pump the brakes on this one a little bit but e either way i i just i want to see it happen i think that you know the entertainment justifies the means that's the way i see it absolutely it's not down just because rich person doesn't mean he's not the smartest person. All I'm saying is that I think that there could be more at play here. And to be honest with you, I hope there is. I think that'll be way more entertaining. Uh, absolutely. And to be able to consider you want the fuck you have to be as a human, do we specify as that? Well, I, it, it's not. The thing is that people are going to make in, like, people are going to make all kinds of analogies and, like, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't really matter that much. And I do think that there are a lot of people that they don't believe this could happen. Like, st stupider things can't happen. Listen, I, I feel like after Trump, anything can happen. Anything is on the table. There is no... There is nothing that cannot happen. I I Elon buying Twitter and then changing it to, like, a Dogecoin farming simulator. Like, absolutely, this can happen. Like, changing it to Doge.com. Absolutely, this can happen. Anything can happen. As I said, we have diverged from reality, and it was in 2015, and that's it.